deal, man. It's Ty Dolla Sign. It's AGTV. Taylor Gang. Push Ink. Label. And look. Yeah, let me ask you a question from, from back in the 90s. Um, I know when Big went out there at the time of his death, at the time of his death, he, he went on the radio and did a freestyle. That freestyle was, was, the, was taken from Long Kiss Goodnight, like his verses. And that Long Kiss Goodnight was like this and Pac. And this, you know, this was like after, after Pac had died. And and the West, you know, obviously fell away. How did, what do you uh, what do you think about that? I really didn't hear them verses. I really didn't hear that freestyle like word for word. I know he went to the station, you know what I mean. But I know he sung "Long Kiss Goodnight." That's wild. And Cali, yeah. that's what he did. Yeah, I think it was "Long Kiss Goodnight." Yeah, some verses from "Long Kiss Goodnight." Really? I thought it was going back to Cali. No, nah, no, nah, it was some verses from Long Kiss Goodnight, definitely. Look it up. I mean, it's on, it's on YouTube. Type it in. Okay, that's wild, man. That's wild, man. But uh, at that time when I was with Biggie, man, it, it was wild, man. You know what I mean? Like, I pulled up to his room, you know, like three days before the incident. You know what I mean? Like, yo, chill, bro. You know what I mean? Like, he was dealing with chicks that I was seen with everybody. Like, on the other side. You know what I mean? Like, yo, chill. They all in the room. Everybody knows location by now because all these bitches that fuck with everybody and you know that side and this side. You know what I mean? I'm like, bro, I'm coming to the room. It's, it's, whoa. It's chicks that hang at death row in there. I'm like, whoa. You know what I mean? So I was like, bro, chill, bro. Just like, you know, calm down. You know, just, just get real strict. You know what I mean? Real, real tight. You know what I mean? Because. The world around the city because Biggie and them came out there wearing not only the freestyle, but they came wearing either red New York hats or royal blue New York hats. One of those. Now it wasn't a, it wasn't a, uh it wasn't the navy blue. And it, it was that like, you know what I mean? I was mad about that. And I told Big like y'all can't be wearing them hats like that. It's heated, bro. Woo 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 woo. You know what I mean? I told him that in the hotel room. You know what I mean? Period. He was like, bro, we just trying to show love. You know what I mean? Like how they rock out here. I'm like, no, don't do it, bro. They they feel disrespected. So me and him had a long talk. You know what I mean? Even including, you know what I mean, about Tupac and the love they got for Tupac. And he never, you know, had nothing to do with Tupac getting shot or none of that. Tupac know what happened. You know what I mean? And who got him shot and this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? So it, it was a deep conversation, man. And I, I cherished that conversation. And that last moment, I got to chill with Biggie. And we were supposed to do a song for the new Looney's album, the Lunatic Music. So it was crazy. You know what I mean? Period. Like, so it was wild, man. So rest in peace to Biggie. I was more closer to Biggie than Pop. Facts. You know what I mean? My cousin and them, the girl, you know what I mean, was close to Pop. But I was close to Big. Definitely. That was my. Yeah, crazy, man. It's crazy how you on a, phone, on, on a phone call situation. I couldn't call Pac up. I could call Big or beat Big, you know what I mean? And they could call me and beat me. So it was a different type of situation, different type of, you know what I mean? Yo, it was crazy because I, uh, uh, I heard you that you were, I know you told that story how you were there at the museum that night. And yeah, I, I was there. I couldn't get in. I couldn't get in. So we had, went to the, uh, what the shit called, the Roxbury. You know, by the time we got to the rocks, baby, we drove off. We got phone calls. You know, I mean, no, it was on the radio that Big got shot. You know what I mean? And we literally drove from Wilshire to Sunset. By the time we got to Sunset, we already got got shot on the radio. Wow. That, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Rest in peace to Biggie, man. But it, it, was, it was just a vibe that night. You know what I mean? I seen it all. Like, yo, we got to get the fuck out of here. It, it was just a up. It was just, it was just too crazy. It was too crazy, too hood. It was a lot of shit going on. Like it's in front of the door, around the door, around that parking lot. I'm like, bro, let's get up out of here, bro. That shit don't look safe, man. Let's go to the, the after party. You know what I mean? We left. Rest in peace to my uh, homie Tally. We left. You know what I mean? About time we got to the next club, we heard the news on the radio. You know, so. 
That was crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, rest in peace to Big, the big old. Uh, hey, again, guys, go to It's AGTV on YouTube. That's the homie, and uh, he's got a great YouTube channel. What's up? It's your number one cowboy, Chinks, and you're watching AGTV.